Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking college football and a good one at that. We've got the Iron Bowl on deck, uh, Alabama Auburn. We've got a nice little special. We've got 50% off two for one weekly passes, which means you get the picks from two handicappers for the price of one, just $114.99. And you need to use the link, picksandparlays.net slash turkey. Alabama, of course, big favorites in this one. Home favorites, minus 24 and a half. The total is 62 and a half. And the big story this week has been Nick Saban testing positive for COVID after experiencing some mild symptoms. I don't think he will probably be coaching, but we're filming this a little bit earlier in the week. So not sure, but definitely something to monitor. We've got Dan Kaiser joining us to break this one all down. Dan, this is a big rivalry matchup. Uh, one of the better games when it comes to college football over the years. Is 24 and a half too many points for uh, Alabama to cover, or do you like a total? I just got one thing to say about this game, and that's roll damn tie. Uh, Auburn's beaten uh, Bama and Saban four times, and I'm not one of those guys that believe in revenge, but Sa it seems like Saban does. And to be transparency, being a state alum, and knowing Bama was my second choice of schools, I have this love-hate relationship with Saban at the moment. After the four losses he's had to uh, Auburn, he's come back and won each game the next time by an average of 26 points. If I'm going to give Auburn a little bit of things to be thankful for Thanksgiving, one is, yes, it is Saban does have COVID, but I don't think that's really going to matter because, I mean, I'm not sure he doesn't really call money that plays anyway. But Bo Nix, after failing to hit 50% of his passes in his first three or four games. He's been hitting over 70% the last three games, albeit against LSU, Ole Miss, and Tennessee. I just think Alabama's just got too much on the offensive end, and I'm not sold on Bo Nix of being still a great quarterback. So I'm, I'm laying the points with Bama. Yeah, I think Bo Nix is probably the wild card in this one, as he is in most games. And the problem is backing a team with a quarterback who uh, you don't know if you can trust him or not. That being said, Bo Nix led this Auburn team to a win over Alabama last year, 48-45 to in a high-scoring affair. And I think uh, we see a lot of points in this one. I'm not sure if we see a lot from Auburn, but I am taking the over 62 and a half. I think with or without Nick Saban, I don't think it really matters for Alabama because that's like a an NFL type franchise. It's a program where everybody knows exactly what to do. He's got a bunch of former head coaches on his staff, so I don't think it's going to be an issue when it comes to game day preparations for this Alabama team. And they've scored 40 points or more in six of seven games this, this season. Uh, Najee Harris has been absolutely unreal when it comes to total yards 110 155 157 162 and 242 total yards in an five games. So they've got all kinds of weapons when it comes to the offense, despite Jalen Waddle being out for the year. I will say this is a rivalry game. And if you're not from that area, you might not know this, but Auburn, Alabama, probably one of the better college football rivalries in all of sports. I covered it at my first TV job. And let me tell you, these two teams hate each other. And I think hate is a light word when you're talking about this rivalry. And Alabama has won eight of the last 12, which sounds like a lot, but they've also won five national championships during that span. So the fact that they're so dominant and Auburn, you know, throws in a win here, here and again, it's pretty impressive. Uh, it's, it's a lot of good football between these two teams. That being said, I don't think Auburn is the team this year that they have been in the past. Their defense really is not nearly as stout as it normally is, uh, especially last season. They had Marlon Davidson and Derek Brown, both two NFL, get, NFL guys now on their defensive line. Uh, they've struggled when it comes to the defense. So, yeah, and Alabama, their defense has not been nearly as good as it has been in years past. I think Alabama scores maybe 50 points in this one, and I think it goes over the total of 62 and a half. Uh, Dan, do you have any other thoughts on this one? Last year in that win, Auburn did have two pick sixes, which helped help them, you know, help them to get to 48. And this year, Alabama's only turned the ball over once a game in each of their games. You know, it's going to, I think it's going to take for Auburn to win or keep this one close. It's going to take some turnovers. And I just don't see Alabama turning it up, turning the ball over. Since when did you ever think Saban's team, a Saban's coach team, would all, all of a sudden become wide receiver you? I mean, it doesn't seem to matter. Like if they lost Waddle and then people just step up, you know? Oh, yeah. I just, I just think they roll. I think this, this game is going to be 30, 40, or 30 point game easy. Yeah, I think for me, it's just something about rivalry games where I'm a little bit afraid to lay a big 
point spread because I will say Auburn's defense has had some really big interceptions, some big plays. Uh, they had a 100-yard pick six, uh, Smoke Monday, all college football name team there, uh, had a big one there against UT last week. And then they've had several defensive plays in the red zone that have come up big, big turnovers, changing the complexion of the game against uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ole Miss and LSU for the Tigers, but this is a bit of a different animal when we're talking about the Crimson Tide. So not sure that's why I'm taking a total in this one, but I'll be looking forward to watching it because usually it is a good one uh, at least. And even if Nick Saban and Crim and, uh, Alabama are up like 50, if Nick Saban's on the sidelines, he'll still be yelling at players, even if they're up 50. So uh, always fun to watch Nick Saban do things like that. Uh, but that's going to do it for our college football talk here on Picks and Parlays. As always, great stuff from Dan Kaiser. Dan, thanks for joining us.